Hi, my name is John Cramsey, and I am going into my senior year at Iowa State University, and I am studying chemical engineering. So today I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about a club that I'm president of uh, at Iowa State, and it's called Biobus. So Biobus, I would consider to be two main things. It's an engineering club on campus, but it's also an outreach program for the surrounding Ames community. And so I'll go into more detail on these two. So first, I would say that it is an engineering club and what we do is no different than any other biodiesel refinery where we collect oil or some sort of waste material, we turn that into biodiesel and we give it back to be used in transportation of some sort. So collecting oil, uh, that first picture you see, that would be our super sucker as we call it. It's made out of a 40 gallon propane tank and uh, air compressor. And so we wheel that over to our cafeterias and we siphon out about 40 gallons of used vegetable oil at a time. And so then we wheel it back to our in lab reactor, which is located in the biorenewables lab on campus. And from there we make our biodiesel. Where and so we do the same process that you would find in any other biodiesel refinery where we know how much oil we have, and from there we can calculate how much methanol we need to use and how much catalyst we need to use with that as well. And so once we finish making our biodiesel and we separate that from the glycerin, we take the biodiesel and we give that to the cyride bus system. And so I'll tell you a little bit about the cyride bus system. It's really cool because the bus system doesn't only help us students uh, there on campus, but the bus system also helps everyone else in Ames as well. So while most of the buses do circulate around campus, the each line also has a little it goes a little ways out to the edge of town and so it's a way that everyone in the Ames community is able to utilize these bus systems and I think it's really cool that our club on campus is able to take a waste product that we make on campus and we're able to turn that into a product that not only us students are able to utilize but everyone in the entire Ames community is able to utilize. And so I said that Biobus also has a lot of, our, is starting an outreach program, uh, which is why I have one of my bullet points saying new initiatives. Biobus has been around since 2008, and about a couple years ago, we hit a lull where nothing really happened for three years, and so we're still trying to like get ourselves and dust ourselves off again from that. And so last year, we started our, our outreach program again. And so that's what our picture is right there on the slide. And since We've done a couple outreach programs last year. We're hoping to continue to build off of that and we're coming up with different ideas that we can do to kind of get, you know, more elementary students or high schoolers more engaged in learning about biodiesel and all of its good effects. And so we're hoping that as time continues to go on and we get more and more experience with talking to a younger audience and even college students, uh, we can continue to grow our outreach program. And so we're looking forward to that. And so that's pretty much it about biodiesel or biobus. And uh, I'd also like to make a quick shout out. So this past summer or this summer, I had an internship lined up, but unfortunately it got canceled. And so it got canceled at the last minute. So I reached out to a contact that I have at NGSB and I asked if they could help me to find a job. And they were able to help me find a position at AGP in Emmitsburg, Iowa, which is a soybean processing plant. And so I think it's really cool that I was able to use my contacts with NGSB and I was able to get a summer job. So um, thank you for all that. And also thank you for uh, listening to my presentation.